What's up, Leo? What's up, lions, lioness? What's going on, Leo? So let's hop into your love reading for February 1st through the 15th. Um, this will be general. It will not resonate with all of you guys. This will be for Leo, sun, moon, rising. Also, Venus. I am switching it up this time. So, I'm going to do a you versus them. So, we can, um, well, so I can see where the energy is at between you and your person. We're going to start out with a affirmation. Yay, I got a new deck. It's called I Am Everything Affirmation Cards. Love it. It's small, nice messages. So let's start out with an affirmation. And at the end, I'll pull some love oracles. One for you, one for your person. And then we'll end it with a love your inner goddess oracle card. All right, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, please. And thank you. Hit the notification button. What else, Leo? That's it. Oh, yeah, the special for this month is How Does He or She Feel. It is $50. Um, you guys can get more information on my website, fireintuition.com, or you guys can look in the description box below. All right, Leo? So let's see what we got for you. This came out. Number three, I am whole. And your affirmation says, I am perfectly created. I am a wonderfully unique individual. Every lesson I have learned, every risk I have taken, and every achievement I have made contribute, contribute, sorry, contribute to who I am. Because of that, I am whole. Love it, Leo. Yay. I'm also a Leo. I definitely feel like it resonates with our energy, especially um, since we have that eclipse. Okay. Um, and it just got rid of a lot of shit. We learned a lot of lessons. Okay. Coming out of that um, north and south node energy with Aquarius so definitely loving the message Leo let's hop into this reading and let's see what we got for you guys let it be great Leo all right messages for the sign of Leo and love February 1st through the 15th what is coming in for Leo in love February 1st through the 15th let it be great Leo all righty messages for the sign of Leo and love February 1st through the 15th all right, Leo, so when it comes to you and what you are all about right now, Leo, let's see what you're all about. We have the hangman, right? You could be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe you got Pisces in your um, chart, like your moon or your rising sign. Maybe your Venus is in Pisces. What's on your mind? Three of swords. The person you're dealing with and how you feel about them. The empress. Okay. So interesting, Leo. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be okay. So I'm seeing this two different ways, especially with this nine of cups at the bottom. Okay, um, we haven't got to your person's energy, but I just feel like this Leo, like with this hangman, things were stagnant. There was some type of delay, or whoever you were dealing with, they weren't looking at things from your perspective, or they had a hard time understanding things, or you just kind of felt as if maybe. Um, yeah, like, I just feel like you felt as if your person needed to look at things differently. There could have been, um, I feel like maybe someone was compromising more in the past than the other person. So, I feel like with the hangman being here and what you're all about, you're surrendering and letting go of all of that. You're just having a new outlook, I feel like, on life in general. Not just the, um, relationship. Because when I look at the hangman and then we have the three of swords and the empress, you guys definitely went through some type of awakening. Okay? So, you're looking at things totally different. The Three of Swords, yeah, you went through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. But this is like a new beginning. You're coming out of some type of heartbreak because we have the Empress, okay? And this is how you feel about your person. So for some of you guys, it's like you went through hell and back. They put you in some type of situation. But it's like at the end of the day, you're just like, I'm the Empress now. So thanks for everything, you know? And now you're surrendering and letting go. You're looking at things totally different. For others of you, it's like... I feel like that's still kind of the energy, but still wanting some type of new beginning with this person. Okay, because this will be someone from your past, three of swords, someone that hurt you or broke your heart, or like this did some damage, okay? But like I said, the three of swords can be a lot of different things. So let's see what they're about, what's on their mind, how they feel about you, okay? So what they're all about, seven of wands. 
what's on their mind, eight of wands, how they feel about you, page of wands, yeah, see, this, like, there's been growth within both of you guys, but this person is behind you, though, that's why you're coming up as the empress for how you feel about them, so it's kind of like, you're just like, oh, wow, like, it's like, like, you're this empress now, you're, like, happy, you're in love with yourself, like, the empress, like, there's been so much healing, so much growth, so much abundance, you know, within you. And it's like with them, they have the seven of wands, so they're they're dealing with some obstacles right now. But I feel like this will be life, like, you know, like, things that they're, like, they're fighting off things that are going on in their life. Or, like, they're just, yeah, they're going through some type of struggle right now. And they could be still kind of defensive when it comes to the relationship because you surrendered and let go of so much. And they're just like, how have you let go and I'm still feeling like this? what's on their mind eight of wands communication but i feel like this person doesn't want to communicate until things are coming into them like you know until they're like they're getting things that they're manifesting are until like some type of great news comes in or something because how they feel about you page of wands they want to open up communication with you um this page of wands will be like they want to open up communication and talk to you about some type of new beginning or they want to see if there is still a new beginning or like if something can come together between you guys with the page of wands, the page of wands is like, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to discover something. They're just, just like, cause like you're the empress up here and they're the page of wands. So they know they still have some growing up to do or like they, there's still some growth that's needed, but at the same time, they do want to have some type of new beginning with you. All right. But just not knowing how to communicate it. I feel like what they're all about as well. They might feel as if like you're kind of defensive because there has been growth on your part and things have changed for you. So the Empress will have them feeling like, oh, like you're sitting on top of the world now and they're this page of wands and they can be like, maybe they feel as if they're not good enough. Okay. For some of you guys. Um, but that's just what I'm seeing so far. So let's look at their intentions. See, we have the four of cups. They're sad. For some of you guys, someone is like really sad that you like you've changed and that you're different and things are different now. But it's like they put you through a lot of pain. They put you through a lot of hurt through your swords. But you're like, you're still doing good. Like you like you forgave them everything. You're even looking at this situation differently. And they're in the four of cups as far as their intentions. The challenge is the ten of cups. That's what they want. They want to come back together. They want the ten of cups they want to be the emperor to like they want to match you like they want to be the emperor you're the empress this is the challenge ten of cups but they feel like it's not going to come back together ten of cups ten is an ending above that we have the eight of wands three of swords they're failing to communicate to you how they really feel and what they want that's why the four of cups is their intentions okay and then for the outcome we have the five of pinnacles so this person knows like they really hurt you really bad i thought like with this five of pinnacles and the empress and the page of wands and just how the relationship was you kind of looked at this like it's us against the world. I got your back no matter what. And you did is what I'm getting. But now things are just totally opposite. We have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And look, we have the nine of pentacles. This also came up, I want to say, in Sagittarius' reading. I feel like in the past you were stressed out about this connection to a cups. But you came out of that, you know, and you're not deceiving yourself anymore. You're not sabotaging yourself. You're releasing, letting go, and surrendering. And then we have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay? So, really happy, focused on yourself. Um, the Nine of Cups sometimes to me is like self-love, doing things you want, doing things that make you happy, fulfilling your wishes, things like that. So, um, yeah, Leo, I feel like I pretty much went over the reading. Um, let's definitely clarify. Um, but like I said, whoever you're dealing with, I just feel like, let's go into the Seven of Wands first. Let's see why they're, like, why they have their guard up or why is the Seven of Wands here? Okay, because I feel like part of them wants to like withdraw and walk away, but then it's like what's on their mind is opening up communication, you know, wanting this ten of cups with you. So let's see. Um, I feel as if they're having regrets. Okay. Let's see. Why is the seven of wands here for Leo and their person and what their person is all about? Why is the seven of wands here? The nine of pentacles, C S C they're dealing with some like life issues. Like, and then look, we have the tower. So something has happened. Um, the page of wands, maybe they had to start over. Maybe they had to start over, like relocate or start over. The page of wands can be that. It can be like messages of disappointment that came in. They had to start over, new beginning for them. So they're kind of defensive because like they want to be the nine of, um, 
they want to be the nine of pentacles we have the tower we have the nine of pentacles so like this is what they're trying to do they're trying to like claim their independence or be independent being able to offer give something not wanting to go into this whether it's codependency missing you wanting the relationship but needed to work on themselves and we do have justice here so they're definitely dealing with something karmically or i feel like the tower came down the old foundation came down they're getting enlightenment on why things are happening the way they are you know but i do also feel like with the seven of wands they still might have people in their ear which is also affecting things moving forward which is why they want to open up communication but then we have the three of swords ten of, ten of cups so they know what they want, but I feel like they're also allowing things to hold them back. And you notice on here, the justice skills aren't balanced. So it's like they still need to find more balance or stop listening to people or focus more on themselves. Okay. Yeah. See, cause they're not, they're not really happy. I feel like justice was like justice here with that sun card in reverse is taking them out of a situation that was depressing or that was keeping them depressed or keeping them unhappy. Okay, so um, let's go into this hanged man for you and what you're all about. Why is the hanged man here for Leo and what Leo is all about right now? Yep, see, six of pentacles in reverse. So I love this for you, Leo. Okay, um, and I'm a Leo and I know how we can be, you know, sometimes we can be selfish and stubborn and all about ourselves. You know, and I feel like with the hangman being here and what you're all about, Six of Pentacles is in reverse. Um, you're just not looking at things one-sided anymore. Okay, like if you were being stubborn in the past and thinking one-sided or thinking about um, or making things about you, I feel like you're not doing that anymore. Okay, um, and you're surrendering and letting that go. Okay, also I feel like with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, if that's how your person was, It's like, um, like if you were dealing with someone that was like very stubborn and selfish and that was very needy with this, um, six of pentacles in reverse and the hey man, I feel as if, um, how can I put it? Dang, Ash. Oh yeah. I just feel like you're not going to let like anything delay you or like slow you down. So if this person is like trying to come into your life and they have problems and all that stuff it's like you're still wanting to move forward you know like you're still like you've let everything go you let what they've done to you go for most of you guys and it's just like with that six of pentacles in reverse that hang man you're just like no i can't let anything like slow me down set me back nothing like that with that six of pentacles in reverse so i'm seeing it two different ways leo but like if this was you in the past like i said stubborn and making it all about you or was very one-sided you're like kind of letting that go you're surrendering to that. I feel like you're trying to be a little bit more open to this person. But at the same time, you're not allowing any delays or setbacks. Okay? So let's clarify that. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see the Eight of Wands. You're about manifesting things. You know, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords, you might even communicate it to that person that told them. Now, with the Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, I could say that it was, like, very harsh. But I feel like it was very blunt. Like, I feel like you told this person, like, look, I let go of what happened in the past. But... You know, at this point, things are good for me. I'm moving forward. Um, you're not about to set me back. I want more from this relationship. When you're able to offer to me, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like you communicated that to them. Because things have been manifesting for you. Because you're the empress now. So let's see why you're the empress. Why the empress is in your energy for how you feel about this person. Okay? Clarify the empress for Leo. And how they feel about their person. I mean, for others of you, it's like you want to start something new with someone else. Yeah, I feel like you want to start something new. Yeah, I'm feeling like you want to start something new with someone else. Um... But the past is like still around you or within your energy or maybe you have a child by this person. So um, cause that empress is there. So maybe as an empress, you just want to just like be civil and get along with this person and just be the mother, you know, to you guys' this children or child. Why is this empress here for Leo? Yeah, see, we have the ace of wands reverse. 
So I just feel like for some of you guys with this Ace of Wands reverse, it's like because you're coming up as the Empress and how you feel about your person, this is you knowing your worth now. And with the Ace of Wands reverse, like I said, this is like delays, obstacles, setbacks, you know, like low vibration, like inner, like, cause like the Ace of Wands is like energy or like an energy shift, but it's like their energy is opposite from yours. You're the, in, you're the Empress and you're just not interested in that energy or going into some type of committed relationship with them or starting something new with them right now. And I feel like they know it and that's why they want to communicate and tell you how they feel, but they're not because like I said, there's been a lot of growth and they see that things have changed. So let's see why that Ace of Wands is in reverse for Leo. Why is this Ace of Wands reverse for Leo and how they feel about their person? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, because you guys are wanting something new. Ten of Pentacles. Like I remember I told you someone new is around you or you want to be with someone else or you feel like this person is going to come back and you're really wanting long term. But as a Knight of Cups, you might feel as if they're, they're just trying to sweep you off their feet and tell you what you want to hear and, oh, we're perfect. We should be together and all of that and it does not go anywhere still. So, um... That's what I'm kind of getting for you, Leo. So your person, um, let's look at this Four of Cups because this is their intentions. And the Four of Cups is like, maybe their intentions is to finally open up or eventually open up and have some type of heart to heart with you. Okay? Um, but let's see. Why is the Four of Cups here for Leo? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, see? So their intentions are to open up to you and tell you how they feel. We have the Six of Wands. They do want to move things forward. Okay? Now, what I can say is that with the Six of Cups, not the Six of Cups, the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands here, it's, they, they, it's about their confidence. Like, they want to, like, their intentions is to open up to you and tell you how they feel. And you see how the Ace of Wands was in reverse and how you feel about them, delay, setback. Their confidence has to be there. And that's what they're waiting for. Like, they're building up their confidence to come towards you to tell you how they feel. See, right here, like with the Four of Pentacles, they could be stubborn in their energy, wanting to come towards you, but being stubborn, you know, are trying to control how they feel. And it's not seeing nothing, but knowing that it's keeping them, like, sad and knowing that you mean everything to them. And they're wanting to come towards you, so that's in their intentions. A lot of mixed energy here, um, Leo. And then we have the Ten of Cups for... Um, the challenge, why is the Ten of Cups the challenge for um, the person Leo is dealing with? Why is the Ten of Cups the challenge for the person Leo is dealing with? Or why is it the challenge in the relationship? The Eight of Swords, because they're in their head too much. That's why. Like, they're trying to find balance, but they can't because the Eight of Swords are in their head. You guys can be dealing with an um, air sign as well, but it's like they're in their head so bad. You know, like, they're vulnerable to this. Like... It's like they miss this. They're just like, damn, like, I, I, I want my Leo back. I want this person. But it's a challenge because they're in their head. They're thinking the worst. And like I said here, this is their intentions to come towards you and tell you how they feel. But they need the confidence to do so. Okay? So the outcome is the Five of Pentacles, Leo. Let's look at the outcome really quick. We have the Four of Cups reverse with the Five of Pentacles. So that's pretty good. It's like with the Four of Cups reverse, um, they'll be happy if this relationship could be recovered or if things can change in the relationship. Four of Cups reverse with this Five of Pentacles is like they want to see the situation change. They want the relationship to, you know, be different. Like they want to come together and fix things. That's the outcome. That's what they want. This is what they want for the outcome, Leo. All right. So um, I do want to go over the Three of Swords for what's... Um, What's on your mind with this three of swords? I kind of feel like for some of you guys, if this person comes back, you might feel as if they're going to break your heart again. Um, but like I said, you're the empress, so you wouldn't even be thinking about that. Your back is turned towards the three of swords. But let's see how the three of swords is here for Leo um, and what's on your mind. We have the high priestess in reverse. See? For some of you guys with the high priestess in reverse, this can be like... This to me can be like that page of swords information. Like you're still, you need more information. You're still trying to gather more information with the three of swords. So it's like if this person is coming back, it's like you're just like the high priest in the reverse. You're like, mm -mm, I'm keeping silent. I still need more information. I'm still trying to gather more information. I need more details. I need to know more. You guys can be dealing with a Pisces. 
okay, that you're feeling like that about. You're like, mm -mm, I need more information. You broke my heart before. You're not going to do it again um, with that high priestess in reverse. So um, it can be that or this is you like listening to your inner voice and you're telling yourself like, nope, they broke my heart. They did this to me in the past. I'm not going to let it happen. I'd rather just be silent, have some type of new beginning, you know, stay being the empress, wait for someone new to come in. Okay, so I just see it two different ways. Some of you Leos, you're just moving forward, waiting for someone new to be in, new to come in. For others of you, I do see that this situation can change. But your person needs the confidence to come towards you and tell you how they feel, and they need to get out of their damn head. All right? So, that's what we have for you, Leo. Let's see what we got. Let's pull a love oracle for you, and then one for your person. A love oracle for Leo. And then let's pull one for your person. Yeah. Interesting. Um, your person has sacred union. <laughs> and then for you, you have my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missed. So for some of you guys... um. This could be like some twin flame situation and um, at this point, it's like there's still love there. Like, I feel like you'll always love this person. Maybe you feel like right now is not the right time. Okay, that's why it says, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. Um, I feel like you'll always love that person no matter what. And then for others of you, this will be, this is your new person coming in. I don't feel like you met this person yet. Because it says, for love transcends space and time, nothing is missed. So you haven't missed nothing yet because you don't know this person. For some of you guys, this new person that's coming into your life, this this relationship, that's what you're wanting. Or like, there's going to be a deep spiritual connection within this new relationship. For your person, we have sacred union. And it says, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Okay, so I feel like in the past, they weren't being... So honest and they didn't treasure the relationship and they know that that's why we have the five of pentacles for the outcome and the ten of cups here in the challenge. They know they lost something great. They're having regrets. They're realizing now this is a sacred union. They're wanting the relationship back, but they're seeing like you've changed or you're looking at things different or for some of you guys, like I said, it's like this person needs to have the courage to come towards you and tell you what they want and how they feel. But out of all of it, out of this whole reading and all the cards we have that came out. We have the Empress. And then we have the page. And how they're feeling towards you. So I believe like this person really like kind of still needs time to get things together. If this is you waiting on someone. Okay. Um, and look what came out. <laughs> the Empress. See. They, they want, they do want to be with you. But they know that you're the Empress. So they know like with this page of wands. Like I said, the Page of Wands is like new beginnings, discovery, like discovering something new, new beginnings, like like a whole new world, just doing something different. You know, and they know they will have to offer you that, something different, something new. So they're still trying to put things together because you are the Empress and they know that. And that's why the Sacred Union card is here. All right, so let's pull your love, your inner goddess, your inner goddess oracle card. All right, Leo? All right, messages for Leo. Please give me a oracle message for Leo, February 1st to the 15th. We have number 22, free spirit. All right, so let's see what message we got for you, Leo. All right, so number 22, free spirit. When we have an active imagination, we can't forget to use it for dreams and instead let it create nightmares. There's something that you've been worrying about. There's no need to torment yourself. Let go of any thoughts, attitudes, or beliefs that are based in fear. They are not helpful, necessary, or accurate. Everything has a positive and loving purpose, even if we cannot see or know what it is straight away. You'll find a loving solution comes to you easily and at the perfect time. 
as you choose to avoid fearful thinking. Let yourself be free and feel positive about your future and know that everything is going to be okay. So loving this. Like, it's, like I said, you guys are healing. You guys are freeing yourself. You're letting go. Um, remember, we have the hangman. You're looking at things differently. If you guys are trying to be in control or uh, like being stubborn in a relationship, you guys are releasing that energy. We're not making it all about you. You're being more open. You're ready to compromise. Eight of Wands. It's like you're being consistent. You're communicating. Like I said, for some of you guys, you're just ready for something new. For others of you guys, this is going to come together. But like I said, your person is like a little bit behind you. Okay? So, I just feel like in this case, like, just know that you're the Empress. That's all I'm going to say. You're the Empress, no matter what. Just know that you're the Empress Leo. Okay? All right? And that there has been a lot of healing, growth, abundance within you and you've awakened to that that's how we have the hangman for what y'all about all right leo i love you guys if you guys want to book a personal reading with me you guys can do so on my website fireintuition.com i love you and i will talk to you guys again soon bye